3D offset finishing now has the benefit of a new smoothing option. This new smoothing option will remove any sharp changes in direction that quite frequently occur when using a 3D offset toolpath and a closed boundary. Let's take a look at an example to see how this works. The first toolpath is a standard 3D offset toolpath without any smoothing. Now for this toolpath we've used the block profile as the boundary and you can see quite clearly if I switch off the shaded part that we have a lot of changes in direction. Okay, because we've used a rectangular boundary and we're offsetting that boundary inwards and we get many many 90 degree sharp corners and sudden changes in direction. OK, now let's go ahead and calculate a smoothed version of the same toolpath. So I have a batch toolpath here already. If I go to the settings for that toolpath, you can see the actual user interface has changed very little. Uh, the only addition is this new smoothing tick box and we simply switch that on and recalculate the toolpath. The actual smoothing algorithm does a lot more than simply fit arcs into anywhere where we have sharp corners. Using a similar technology to the race line smoothing in, in roughing, the 3D offset smoothing attempts to smooth out the whole toolpath segment, not just arc fit the corners. So if we now take a look at the same toolpath, you can see in this area where we're going around a 90 degree bend, it has smoothed out the corner similar to arc fitting. But if we take a look in other areas, for example, where the, the tool, um, where the toolpath is riding up this steep vertical region here, you can see that the the wavy pattern of the unsmoothed toolpath, if we just draw that back, is totally smoothed out with a more simpler straight line over that region. So it's looking at the whole toolpath segment and trying to smooth out the whole segment rather than just fit an arc into anywhere where there is a discontinuity. The obvious benefits of this smoothing approach are that we should see a much higher feed rate overall uh, for the machining uh, because of the fewer changes in direction and because we're smoothing out the whole toolpath we should see a general improvements in the surface finish. The smoothing also works when we supply an input in an input pattern for 3D offset. In this next example we've just created a simple straight line pattern along the one edge of the part which we can see there in brown and first of all we have a, a non-smoothed 3D offset toolpath using the input pattern and quite clearly we can see all the changes in direction. If we zoom in we can see there are a lot of sharp discontinuities across the whole toolpath. Again plus we have this wavy situation that quite often occurs especially on steep regions. Now let's draw the smooth version of that toolpath and straight away you can see that not only have we removed the sharp corners but we've actually smoothed out the whole toolpath and again these areas where we had that wavy appearance has been smoothed with a very nice smooth linear type toolpath. 
Now the smoothing removes any sharp discontinuities in three dimensions. It doesn't just look down the z-axis and smooth any sharp corners that it can see uh, when looking from above. Uh, to prove this, let's just draw the part back uh, and spin the part round and take a look at this steep region here which is highlighted. You can see this is almost a vertical wall with a just a slight draft angle on it. And if we zoom in and draw the original unsmooth toolpath we can see several sharp corners riding up that steep wall. If we now go to our smooth toolpath we can see that all those sharp corners now being removed uh, and we have a nice smooth arc on those sharp re on those vertical regions. So the smoothing occurs in three dimensions, not just plain and looking down the uh, z-axis. The last example we're going to look at is uh, machining of a single cavity using a contact point boundary around the edge of the cavity. Again, here we can see the several acute angles, a sharp change in direction in the toolpath. If we just overlay our smooth toolpath, we can see all those now have been smoothed out. But the smoothing is intelligent enough to know when not to smooth out a corner. For example, in this region here, when we want the tool to go right into this fillet, then the toolpath edge or corner is maintained. So to summarise, a very simple change to the actual user interface, uh, a simple tick box to activate or deactivate the smoothing. There are no other parameters to input, uh, such as ra radius. And the benefit of this new smoothing is that we should have a reduced machining cycle time, because we should be able to maintain a, a higher feed rate on the machine, uh, because there are less changes in direction. So in the toolpath so there will be less acceleration and deceleration, there will be more constant programmed feed rate and also uh, as a subsequence of the smoothing the surface finish should also improve.